All right, the next thing we're gonna do, it's going to be um, the background photo on the background of this page. As you remember, these focus, they give you like, they have like five, sorry, they have like five or six photos and they just put it on the background. So that's what we're gonna do. But first we gotta download the photos. <clears throat> so, Let's get some cool photos. This is one, it looks all right. And um, everything, let's, do, uh, let's just come here. Landscape, there we go. All right, this one looks okay as well. And one more. This is okay. All right, so we, we do three of them only. Download this one. We download this one. And we download this one. Bravo. All right. Bye bye. Now, what we gotta do is go to my downloads. Where are they? Here. Okay. And I am gonna put it on my file, JS Basics. Images. Good. And there we go. Here it is. Okay. So how is it going to work? Basically, um, we are going to, sorry, here, fuck, I closed it. All right. So we're going to make a number. We're going to check out how much, how many images we have. We have three images. All right. And we're going to make a number. We're going to come up with a number, a random number between one and three. It could be whatever you want, but it will be one and three in this case. Once we have the number, we're gonna create an image. Let's just do this one. We're gonna create an image element. And after we have the image element, we are going to set that as a background. There will be a trick though. We don't want to see the image a little bit weird. And by that, I mean, we don't wanna see the image loading like we wanna wait until the image is loaded and then we show everything. So let's make a new file outside of images called background.js. Let's add it here. Background.js. JS. All right. Okay. So what this fucker has is going to have the body because we're going to set the background to the body. All right. That's it. Cool. We're going to make a function in it, as always, in it. We're going to call the function, of course. And here, what we're going to do is generate number. So let's do const random number. And here, we're going to call a function called generate random. Random, no, random. And this function will return a number. Okay, so let's do const number equals something return number. Okay, now how do we generate random numbers in JavaScript? This is something very, very simple that I want you to see. There is a module on JavaScript called math. So we're going to do math. And math has many stuff has uh, many stuff. We're going to use math random. What random does is that it generates a number, a random number like this. All right. Now you will say I want a random number between one and five or something like that. Well, what you can do is that you can say random times, for example, five. So this will be a random number until five, as you can see from one to five. That's it. All right. Now you will say, okay, so I have a random number from one to five, but I don't want to have this this thing here. Well, we're going to use something called math floor. What math floor does is that if there is a number like this, it is going to make take it to the floor. That means three. If there is a number like uh, 3.1, 3.2 is going to be two. There is also math seal, which is ceiling and floor. Okay, so if you have something like this, math seal will turn it into 
if mat zero will turn it into four. Okay, so there's both of them. We're gonna use math floor. And inside, math random times SA3. Because that's the amount of images we want. I encourage you for your coding challenges to use more images. There you go. Awesome. Now what we need to do is three, I think. Three. Oh shit, because it's three images that we have. So let's try. We're gonna stop until we get a three. Zero, one, and two. We need a two, there we go. So zero, one, and two, good. Now we have one, two, and three, that's good. So a random number is going to be equals to this. Okay, and maybe we can make a constant here image number An image number will be the image number that we have three images so maybe we can change this whenever you want to change something you just change it from here and you're good instead of going all the way to the code all right and we're going to return number so random number equals gen random awesome okay and now let's make a function called paint image and this function takes a number image number all right and we're gonna do something with it so let's just do it first we get a random number and then we say paint image <clears throat> random number awesome and let's create a um, new object so we say new image equals and this one is very it's a little bit different i want to say new image like this okay like this now here we're gonna be okay and let's see if it works we refresh nothing should be out of normal all right and i'm going to say image that source equals and the source is going to be images images and in this case will be image number plus one that jpeg why plus one because this random might give me zero so i'm just gonna put one if it gives me zero it will be the first one if it gives me one it will be the second one and if it gives me two it will be the third one all right all right good stuff and then we're gonna say oh you know what no we don't need an image actually we don't need an image at all or do we maybe we need an image fuck it let's do this <clears throat> and then what we do is we can say body whoop, body append child image and this is not defined it should be image here let's see if it works we refresh and images three not found why here we go we refresh let's see the elements where is the image image there it is so it's working it's just too fucking massive but it's working good stuff all right now i want to show you something here and what i want to do is a little bit of a trick let's attach an event listener to image add event listener load load end and this will make a function handle image load console log finished loading okay let's see we refresh add even listener ah oh, shit handle load all right in this case it's not done loading, I think, because we haven't attached it to anything. Let's do what we did before. Body, append, child, image. All right. Oh, no. It's not loading. Do you know why it's not loading? Because it doesn't come from an API. That's why. 
it's just a remote one. So we don't need to do any of this, sorry. If you were doing that from an API, then you will need that at all, okay? All right, so this is it. Just we get this one or we get this one or we get this one. All right, now we just have to add an image. Image dot class name add, no class lead, sorry, add background image. So we have this new class name. And now all we, can, all we have to do is come here, background image, position, absolute, top zero, left zero, width, 100%, height, 100%, see what's up. All right, <clears throat> and it works. Now the problem is that it's on top of everything. So let's just see index zero. Uh, it still is on, oh nice. It still is on top of everything. I think it's because we do a pen child and that means it's behind everything else. So let's do one, maybe we, it works. No, it doesn't work. All right, so instead of a pen child, we need to say prepend. Why not? Prepend should work. Here it is. Yes, you are the background, you can't. Position absolute, top zero, left zero, zeta index minus one. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh, there we go, it works. Okay, good stuff. And that's how you add something like different backgrounds in a place with random numbers. Now, what I would encourage you to do would be something like more images here. So the user has more images, okay? Um, and you know what? Let's just make this look a little bit more pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say keyframes fade in and I'm gonna say from opacity zero to opacity one. All right, and this bad boy is gonna be at the end. All right, and we're gonna say animation, fade in half a second linear. There we go, look at that. That looks so much better. But now let's add a color to our body. There we go. Looks so much better. All right, my people, this is it. Thank you for watching. We're almost there. <clears throat> the last thing we need to do, I mean, of course, here you will have to change the CSS, of course. The last thing we need to do would be to um, go and get the weather. All right, so I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.